Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about my favorite personal water filters of 2020. Now, I know that many of you guys would prefer to see some video talking about the best knives of 2020, or maybe the best axes or saws, and water filters may be a little bit boring, but personally, in my opinion, one the reason why I like talking about water filters is they are one of the few technologies in the camping bushcrafting survival scene that is evolving with great strides. We're seeing stuff that's truly game changing, not just a little improvement here or a little improvement there. We're seeing stuff that is really, like I said, revolutionary. So I'm gonna be talking about two of I'm gonna be talking about two pretty new water filters that I'm rocking and that I'm loving. Uh, in 2020 and two water filters that I would recommend you guys check out. Now this isn't a paid endorsement. I get zero money from either of these companies and I bought these products of my own accord just because I thought that they were awesome and that they were revolutionary. So let's jump into it. So the first one that I'm holding in my hand and one that probably quite a few of you are already familiar with is the Grail GeoPress. And this is one of my quick, this is fastly becoming one of my favorite water filters because for so many years I've looked at water bottle water filters and I just haven't been impressed. Most of them require or most of them are essentially a straw that is attached to a bottle and you can fill it with dirty water and drink through that straw and you're good to go. But where the Grail is a little bit different is it's essentially two water bottles in one and you have an outer one that holds dirty water and you have an inner one that holds your clean water. And what I like about the Grail is, or the Grail GeoPress, is the fact that you can fill this water bottle or the inner water bottle up with clean water, go on an adventure, and if you end up running short or running dry, you can go to your nearest pond or wherever and you can fill it up and top off your bottle just like that. Now the only downside in my opinion to the Grail is that you probably will have to do that because this, due to the system of how it works and how large the filter is, it only holds 24 ounces of water, which if you spent any time out in the field, you'll know that 24 ounces of water can go pretty darn fast. In fact, I've been using this all day and I've already had to fill it up about three times. The fact of, is though, the good part is the fact that I can fill it up. And the nice part about the Grail is that it is a complete water filter. So it filters out heavy metals, chemicals, protozoa, bacteria, viruses, everything that might be wrong in your water. Which is really nice because as civilization pulls closer and closer to our favorite bushcrafting and survival areas, there ends up being more chemicals, heavy metals, and garbage like that that ends up in ponds like this. So having a water filter that is capable of removing not just the natural contaminants, but also man-made contaminants is really nice. So the next water filter I wanna talk about is a smaller water filter that's a little bit different, and it is called the MSR Trail Shot. And this is it, it's pretty tiny, and the reason why I like this guy so much is it's not that I dislike the life straw but if you guys have ever used a life straw you'll know that it's a good system and it's well proven but it's far from perfect and I've been looking for a system that is compact enough to fit in a cargo pocket like you just saw but something that is a little bit better than the life straw and I believe I found it just found it or I found just that in the MSR trail shot. Now what this system is, is essentially a micro water filter and it's it's similar in size, though a little bit fatter instead of being a little bit longer than the life straw. But it has a few advantages over the life straw. Basically how this little guy works is you take this little rubber band off or this little ranger band, you put this little red piece here with the tubing in your dirty water and then you squeeze on your reservoir to help suck up water into this essentially micro bottle. And then from there, you have several options. You can either put it in a water bottle, you can put it in a water bladder, or you can just straight drink it right out of this little guy here. And what I like about this over something like the Life Straw is that the Life Straw, it's just a straw. You have to get really close to the water and you have to physically be right on the water. So if I wanted to use the life straw to get this water, 
I would have to get right on the water level, which oftentimes means getting a little bit wet and that's never any fun. In addition to that, the life straw can be very hard to uh, suck water through because you're sucking it essentially through this very large or very long water filter and that it can be a bit of a challenging process especially when you're trying to first get the water through the water filter before you get the cycle going. And that's where I like the uh, trail shot so much more over the life straw is because you have a suctioning system already built in where you're just squeezing this little system and you're having the system draw the water in so you're not having to suck very viciously to get your water and so I really like that part of this and I also like the versatility with something like the life straw because you're contingent on drawing the water through the straw it's something that you can't really use to fill other systems so with the trail shot once again it's very small but I can use it to top off a water bottle or a water bladder so that I have clean drinking water when I need to walk away from this water source. And that's been one of my biggest complaints with the Life Straw itself, is that the Life Straw is great when I'm here at the lake or when I'm here at the pond. I, it's great, I can get as much water as I need and I can totally top my own personal water tank off. But I, don't, I can't take anything for the road, so to speak. So when I walk several hundred yards that way and now I'm thirsty, I don't have anything for, uh, to show for it for water so that's what I like about this little guy is I can take this I can top off my water bottle or my water bladder or both and then I can drink until I'm full and I can leave and then in several hundred yards or several hundred meters when I'm thirsty again I can drink out of my water bottle and be good so I think that this little trail shot is a really great system and while the life straw is still probably more versatile in places you can put it. What I love about this trail shot is it's still small enough to fit easily without any trouble in a cargo pocket like this. If I can get in here, I can still easily put it inside like a cargo pocket and forget all about it until I need it. So I really am digging this trail shot and once again, I love how the technology of water filters is advancing so rapidly because knives are great, axes are great, saws are great, fire starting tools are awesome, but you still need water to live and having a really convenient and easy to use system for water filter, for water filtration or water purification is a lifesaver, literally. Anyways guys, God bless.